Hey, so in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to have in place in order to ensure that Profit Protect Pro can work out your minimum and maximum prices for you. Why would you want it to do this? Because it is a very quick and easy way of filling in your minimum and maximum prices. All you need to do is set up the rule it's going to use in order to determine how exactly it does work out your min and max prices. This can be a whole lot easier for you than setting everything individually, manually, um, whether it be on an individual basis on the repricing page or whether it be via the bulk inventory option. You may prefer doing it this way. In fact, if you have a large inventory, this is probably gonna be the most feasible way for you. Um, because not only can you get it to work out your minimum and maximum prices on a per item basis, you can actually apply the rules to everything in your inventory. And obviously anything where it's not worked out the prices yet, you just click this and boom, it'll work it out for you. Uh, when you set these rules, you can use any of the automate buttons you see, not only in Profit Protector Pro, but also on the Chrome extension as well. So it's very simple and straightforward. All you do is choose the base element that it's going to base the sum off of. So buy box, break even, ROI, or at the time of recording the newest edition of profit margin do not calculate is basically where uh, if you say would like to set your own minimum price but maybe you want it to work out your maximum you might prefer to do it that way or vice versa you might prefer for it to work out your minimum but you want to enter in your own maximum that's when you use do not calculate and it obviously won't work out your maximum but it will your minimum um the use of it, however, is that you want to plus or minus a certain percentage. Um, so if it was, say, based on buy box, you might want it to be, you know, minus 10% or something like that. So that way you've got a bit of room underneath the underneath the buy box price for bo profit protect pro to go just underneath the scoop up that buy box. Um, but yeah, ultimately, it's up to you how exactly it is that you want to set it. You have the options of or at least... Um, and then and at least as well so it's plus or minus a specific amount so you want the minimum price to be uh, calculated based on your break-even price at plus 10 percent and at least a pound so the minimum price will be the break-even plus 10 percent and plus a pound as well uh, if you chose or at least it will do one or the other based on what is a, best for it to do and what it can do. Um, it might be that the top part isn't the most feasible way to work out the minimum price. So it'll use that, that part because it makes more sense and it'll you know give you a better minimum price for that product. Um, so yeah, you can set it in whatever way you want. You've got those options there so to make it more advanced or you can leave it at no further conditions. So it's just this plus or minus whatever percentage you set. Make sure that the rule is toggled on for the marketplace that you want to, you know, use automations, uh, min max price automations in. Uh, make sure that you save all changes as well. But before you go doing any of this, some important things that you need to make sure that you fill out in order for this to work is what you've got in the break even fee section just below. So any fees, anything like that, that's um, applicable to you and your business, enter that in, shipping cost, VAT, ROI method, prep fees, whatever it is, make sure that you've got that all entered in here. If you do have different fees per marketplace, it might be that your prep fee is different in the UK and it's different in France. You add in those different fees there. Make sure that you save any and all changes that you make. Uh, so this is on a general basis. This is on an individual marketplace basis, whichever one. Um, and yeah, just make sure that you save that. And also, when you go onto the repricing page, make sure that your buy price is definitely entered in. This is an important element for Profit Protector Pro to calculate your break even. How can you have an accurate break even without a buy price? You can't. Uh, and then it's also an important element for not for working out the min and max as well. And then also, if you want more accurate profit ROI and profit margin estimations, you'll need your buy price in there. So make sure it's in there. Uh, if it's set to retail, obviously it's the price inclusive of VAT. If it's wholesale, the price exclusive of VAT. If you bought it from say a wholesale supplier, and obviously most of the time they'll show their prices exclusive of VAT. So you enter that in there, then it'll work out the price for you, including VAT, which we'll see below. Um, so make sure that's set correctly. If you're in the UK, 
and you are part of the EFN or PAM programs and you've set that in your profit protect pro settings and it is applicable for this listing, make sure that that is turned on as well. Just so that way profit protect pro has as much info to work with to give you accurate calculations. Uh, if you know that you're working with a different VAT percentage for, for whatever reason, enter that in there. So typically the standard VAT rate in the UK is 20%, but let's say for example, this was a grocery item, it might be it might have 0% VAT, so we'd enter that in there. Um, but yeah, make sure that all of that is set. If you're thinking, hold on a minute, there's a bunch of buy prices I need to enter in, then try downloading your inventory into a full inventory CSV, which is a spreadsheet where you can quickly work through and add in your buy prices that way. Save it, upload the CSV to Profit Protect Pro and it will apply those changes. So when you are ready, you can use any of the automate buttons. You can do that individually for min, max, um, automate it for this item just in this one marketplace. If you were, say, selling this item in, say, the UK and multiple other marketplaces, you can automate the minimax and break even for this item in all marketplaces you sell it in. Um, so ultimately, it's up to you, or you can head on back to the calculation settings in Profit Protect Pro and apply the rule to everything in your inventory. If you've set up the rules for the very first time or you've tweaked them, I'd always, always, always recommend that you test out the, automa uh, the automation on one or two products just to make sure that you are happy with the calculation in case you need to do any further tweaking to it before you apply it to everything because it's easier to rectify if anything you know does need changing yet um so yeah make sure you try it on one or two just to make sure you're happy and obviously if you are happy go ahead and apply it to everything in your inventory why not obviously bear in mind as well for your rules um if say the if you've based the rule on buy box and there isn't a buy box for the item because it might be suppressed, then it won't be able to work that out for you. So also bear that in mind. You can't also have it where the minimum is set higher than the maximum. It just doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. So if the minimum was to be calculated higher than the maximum, that's another reason why it might not work. Um, and again, if you're missing stuff like the buy price, it then may not work. So automate break even and min max. As you can see, you have a little. Um, clock icon right there uh, and then it will work it out for you if you want to recalculate an item that's already got a min and max it might ask you if you want it to work out a new break even let's say you've tweaked the buy price then in that case you'd say yes um, but yeah it's worked that out for me based on my rules uh, I'm happy with that so yeah um, that is everything you need to do in order to have profit protect pro work out your min and max prices of course, if you do change any prices, uh, you know, manually or anything like that, make sure that you click on save all price changes in the top left corner just to make sure that it's all saved through. Um, yeah, that's everything you need to do. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you soon.